Uh, you've got to make sure that every time you write a repay program or give an exercise, what are you trying to achieve for that person? What exactly does that, does that person really need bridges? If they're already doing fine deadlifts and the hip hinge is absolutely perfect, are there other things that you can actually give them to work on? Are there other stuff that they may be lacking? They might look like they're doing a perfect deadlift, but are they compensating to the max to get that done? And have they learned a way that they can lift off the floor and look amazing because they've copied someone? Okay, and this is where you'll get people that I, they, look, they look fine, but they're in pain. Why are you in pain? Your form is amazing because they're compensating heaps through the system and they're lacking certain components. You've got to go test those components, work out why is this person still in pain if they look amazing, their glutes are great. And I've had people that come in and they've got these cracker glutes and they can just deadlift fine. I say, every time I do a workout, a back wrecks. Why is that? And then you get them on their back and realize they can't even, you know, the pelvic floor's not working or something's not going right. Can be the other way around. They've got these rock solid abs and just no bum. And all they're doing is lifting through their lumbar spine. And it may be that they're getting pain during and they may be feeling pain after. You've got to work out like, how does the pain relate to how they present? So if this person's got no glutes and they've got pain a certain, does that match up? Then what do I pull out of my toolkit to get them out of pain and get perhaps, yeah, I've got to get their glutes better, but I've also got to get them out of pain. So it gets to be a little bit tricky. And some of those things you're going to have to learn on the job. But at least today, you're going to learn that toolkit of, okay, this exercise does this, this exercise does this, and I might just try and use that for this and use that for this and use that guideline and use this and use that.